Lewis, what the hell are you doing here? I read the Eric Woodall deposition, and I thought I could help. Help what? You're here to shut down Sean Cahill, and he's not going to give up without a fight. Lewis, I don't have time for this. So take your arguments and get the hell out of here. Please, Jessica, I want to help. I don't need your help. We're about to put this thing to bed. I feel responsible. You are responsible. You are the entire reason we are in jeopardy, and you want to sit your stupid face in front of Cahill? You may as well wear a sign that says to pose me next, and if he does that, you will tumble like a house of cards because you are ruled by your emotions, and that is the reason why we're in this situation in the first place. Can I at least sit in the gallery? I don't care where you sit. Cahill's going to be here in 30 seconds, so it better be far away from me. What the hell is he doing here? The important thing is, is that he's not sitting here anymore. Mr. Cahill, this email makes a strong case that Eric Woodall has a propensity for malicious prosecution. Yes, it does, Your Honor. But I'm the one pursuing this case, not Eric Woodall. And I don't have a propensity for anything. I'm a simple man trying to do my job. You expect us to believe that the guy you came up with at the Department of Justice comes over to the SEC and you immediately start coming after us and it's a coincidence. Doesn't take much to connect the dots here, Your Honor. Well, as long as we're connecting dots, I can connect a few, too. Let's start with Jeff Malone, a man who used to work at the SEC, now conveniently works at Pierce Inspector. It's not against the law to change jobs. Yes, but why did he change jobs? Because he was instructed to come after us on behalf of the SEC. So he says. I think it's because he wanted to work with his girlfriend, Jessica Pearson. Excuse me? Miss Pearson hired Mr. Malone because if you're planning to break some rules, you need someone to navigate them for you. Who better to do that than your boyfriend who works at the SEC? That's ridiculous. You have any proof of this allegation? Right here. I can call you up to the stand or we can do this right now. Were you seeing Jeff Malone during the time that he worked for the SEC? Please let the record reflect Ms. Pearson said yes. Well, a romantic relationship isn't proof of a conspiracy. It's not irrelevant. Well, I'll allow me to move forward with the depositions. I don't care what we have to do. I'm not losing that son of a bitch. Despite what we just proved, you're not losing to him, you're losing to me. And as far as depositions go, now it's our turn. Is there something I can help you with? I was just thinking things were so much simpler when I was in here. Yeah, Lewis, um... I know about you and Jessica. What? It came out in court. See, I thought you were using me to get ahead when you really just wanted to spend more time with Jessica. What are you doing in here, Lewis? I'm here to apologize. You wanted to be my friend and I rejected you because you were trying to protect her. You must have felt so alone. And believe me, I know what it's like to feel alone. You're not alone. Oh, I am. Jessica said that I'm responsible for everything that's happening, and she was right. No one made me make that dirty deal with Forsman. Now she won't forgive me. I'm alone. And you want me to talk to her for you? You're the only one I can go to, Jeff. And you're the closest person she has. Sure, Lewis. I'll talk to Jessica for you. 